you don't get to 300 issues by thinking that every page, every line, every panel has to be perfect. At some point, you're going to give birth to ugly babies if you just do enough work. And you have to accept that some babies are going to be ugly. Right here sitting next to me, we have the man, the myth, the Canadian, the man who next week will become the record holder for creating the longest running independent comic. Creator ever. owned. Creator, Creator owned, owned comic. Yes, independent. Todd McFarlane. I got to say yeah, your name, okay. Todd. Right. Come it. on, take the applause. That's it. Give it up for Todd McFarlane. Let's go back. If you say independent, a corporation can own that independent, right? There are corporations that are independent comic book publishers. I'm talking about creator owned, right? Since 1992, we started. I'm an advocate about creator owned, and it's creator owned that the person who started it 27 years ago is still driving the car 27 years later, right? So corporations won't let you do that. So, anyways, it's creator owned. That that that's the bigger piece for me. How do you ink in a car? Because a boat's pretty smooth, a plane is super smooth. The, plane, the car is the one that bounces, right? Here's how you can ink in a car. You just make sure that you leave stuff that's inkable, which basically means like bushes, explosions, debris, or, or like explosion line. You can't do human faces because otherwise you have an eye down here and you have your nose up here. So what happens is, and this I, I learned this trick when I was young, when I used to have deadlines and it was an hour drive to the FedEx. My assistant would drive and I would finish it up. But it has to be the backgrounds on the in a car. So you'd sit there and you do an explosion or something and you go, no, 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 fuck. Oh yeah, fuck, that looks good. Right? You need to, and, the children, and it, just, the children. And it, it has to be stuff. Oh, excuse me. And you have to be doing it so that every time you bounce, it still is okay. So I can show you where I hit potholes, and you guys will never know that I hit a pothole on that one. You're going to go, you do such good explosions and trees, Todd. So you don't get to 300 issues by thinking that every page, every line, every panel has to be perfect. At some point, you're going to give birth to ugly babies if you just do enough work. And you have to accept that some babies are going to be ugly, right? And so there's, and at this point in my career, and I say it with Greg and everybody else, I just go, there is nothing you're going to put on a piece of paper that's going to define your career. There's nothing. There's not one thing that I'm going to do that people are going to go, oh, I liked him for 20 years, but that one panel, I'm done with that guy. Good riddance. It doesn't happen. So you just make sure you give enough good stuff that they basically get blinded to the bad stuff. Because my entire career, my style is built on this, right? People used to come up to me all the time and say, Todd, you do the best buildings. When I was doing Spider-Man, you do the best buildings. And my answer was, show me. I don't do, I don't do good buildings. They're like, no, 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 no. And I go, show me the panel then. And so what they, what they had done in their head was I would do a big drawing. Here would be the page. And then I'd do a big Spider-Man. And then I would cut the panel shorter so I'd have to do even less drawing. Those panels that people go, oh, I love it when you have Spider-Man jumping out of the panels. It's because if you make the panel behind them smaller, that's two inches you don't have to draw. It's true. It's true. So now this style becomes deadline capable. And so they would sit there, I have Spider-Man, and then I'd shrink the panel, and then I'd have a little bit of building here, and a little bit of building here, and a little bit of building here, and people thought I drew all of Manhattan because they basically projected behind Spider-Man all the rest of the buildings. And I didn't do them. I'm here to tell you, I didn't do Go look back, analyze the work. You're gonna go, that cheating SOB, <laughs> right? But this is how you get books done, and eventually this is how you get to 301. There's only one way you get to 301 books. You just got to do work. And are they all good? No. If you do anything with longevity, so you've got 30 years of spawn, 27, you're going to have high points and low points, high points and low points, and you just have to accept it. You try to do the best you can, and then you do it, and all of a sudden some turn out better than others, and then you go and you do another issue. So you know what happened 10 seconds after I hit the button for 301 that set the record? You know what I was doing? Writing the plot to 302. Because there's another book that's coming a month after that book, right? You don't get to sit around and rest on your laurel and go look at me, look how good I am.
Yep. What is the latest on the film? Oh, so oh, well, I'm doing a rewrite. I've got the studios. Here's what I'm here's what I'm banking on again. Last year, because they always need a reason to keep going. Last year it was like at this time last year was Venom, and then all of a sudden Venom pops, and I get to go. I co-created Venom, and they're like, yeah, what else? And you go, wow, I got a issue 300. It's gonna be the number one book in the country. Disney owns Marvel, billion dollar company. Warner Brothers owns DC, billion dollar company. I got me and I got Shannon and Carmen. They're right there. That's all I got. Right, hi, Disney, Shannon, hi, Disney and Warner, Disney and Warner Brothers are overthinking it. I got two. I got two. They got a billion of them. And so I go, how can you guys not outsell my book? So we're gonna do it. But even better, this weekend there's a movie coming out called Joker. And here's what Hollywood is very good at replicating. So Joker opens up, and I hope all of you will go see it. If Joker opens up big, they're going to go, oh my gosh, you know what we need to start doing? R-rated, dark, superhero comic books, right? And I'm going to stand up, and I go, I've got one for you. And they'll go, oh my gosh, where's that been? I've been trying to shove it down your throat for the last three years, you idiot. So... And we'll, we'll get it done. We'll Your get it done. still in, in tech, Jamie. I talked Jamie to Jamie Fox. last week. Jamie, Jamie Foxx is attached to it. Jamie Foxx, if you haven't seen it, go look for it. It's doing a movie right now coming up called Just Mercy. Go look, up, go look it up. It's based on a true story about somebody with Michael B. Jordan, uh, Michael B. Jordan and, and Brie Larson. So, so all these superhero people coming and doing this cool drama that there's talk about it being up for Academy Awards. Maybe Jamie and a couple of the other actors and the story itself. And then there's another trailer I just saw the other day called Uncut Gems. Go take a look at this one. It's super cool. It looks like I want Spawn to look like in terms of the grittiness of it. Adam Sandler is the star of it, but it's just the underbelly of New York. That script had floated in New York for 10 years. It was done, and it took them 10 years to finally get somebody to get out. I wish... I could move the glaciers faster. The name's Todd, only rhymes with God. I don't get to control all of that stuff. So I just, I'm just gonna be as tenacious with getting this thing done as I am with this. And Jamie is pushing, my agents are pushing. We'll, we'll get it done, we'll get it, like, I'm, I'm, we'll get it done. And Jamie Renner's still attached, Greg Nicotero's still involved with right, it. Right, everybody, this no. is it. That's why I don't get it. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't, they can, they can spend $45 million making, uh, you know, what was the movie that just opened up to less than three million, right? Uh, Goldfinch, right? Uh, it was based on a book. 45 million was a budget and opened up to less than three million. So I would take half of that and then we can go do our movie. But what are you gonna do? So.